The History of America's Love Affair with Burgers There's no denying the burger is a timeless American staple and national icon, a symbol of patriotism and celebration. Western burgers, Hawaiian-style burgers, burgers made of ostrich, you name it, Americans are eating it. But where does the root of all this patriotic culinary inspiration lie? The humble burger has a long and convoluted history. And I do mean the burger, that succulent meat patty, the stuffing to the Oreo, for the buns we eat burgers with today were not used until the 1900s. 1. The hamburger might have started from a food cart. In the mid-1800s, many Americans found themselves working industrial jobs. Food carts would offer coffee and snacks to the factory workers on the night shift. When these carts started utilizing gas, they were able to grill hamburg steaks which were very popular, yet posed a problem that still faces eaters of street food today. How the heck to eat it easily while standing or on the go? In order to appease the workers, cart owners started placing the steaks between two slices of bread so the food could be easily eaten with one hand. And the rest is history. 2. Lewis's Lunch. A burger joint that is still standing in New Haven, Connecticut, thinks it is the original birthplace of the hamburger. With an official stamp of approval from the Food Network, they think they've earned the right to hush naysayers. Based off of their website, they claim that restaurant owner, Louis Lassen, hurriedly sandwiched a broiled beef patty between two slices of bread, to serve a patron who said he wanted a quick meal he could eat on the run. 3. Hamburger. Charlie Negreen, a young man from Wisconsin, is said to have started the hamburger at the Seymour, Wisconsin State Fair in 1885. Being the savvy entrepreneur that he was, Charlie quickly realized that his meatballs were not selling because they were too difficult to eat as attendees walked around the fair. He smashed his meat into a patty and stuck it between two slices of bread and viola, the hamburger began its saga. 4. The Mensch's Brothers, now known for their small chain in Ohio, rightfully dubbed Mensch's Bros, say that their great-grandfather and his brother, Charles and Frank, invented the hamburger the same year as Charles Negreen. Only it was at the fair in Hamburg, New York. Charles and Frank sold sausages, but ran out the meat they used, and improvised with none other than ground beef. However, Charles thought that he could spice up the dish with brown sugar and coffee, and placed the new patty between two slices of bread. When asked what he called his creation, he could think of no other name than, Hamburger, after Hamburg, the very town he was cooking in. When asked what he called his creation, he could think of no other name than, Hamburger, after Hamburg, the very town he was cooking in. We'll leave who truly invented the hamburger up to your discretion, but it is undeniably known and greatly touted that Oscar Weber Bilby was the first to make a hamburger served on a bun in 1891. Thanks to Oscar, Billy Ingram and Walter Anderson opened the first FAS food hamburger establishment, White Castle, in Kansas in 1921, that's right, it wasn't McDonald's. After fighting an uphill battle against concern for sanitary practices by the general public, they largely popularized the concept of fast food and of course, the hamburger, launching it into the American icon we know and love today. Shortly after, hamburgers could be seen as popular menu items at soda shops and diners across the nation. Today, hamburgers account for almost 60% of sandwiches eaten. They are also the number one type of sandwich even at food trucks where sandwiches are still the most popular entree item. Despite the recent trend in rising health concerns from parents and mindful eaters, it seems as though hamburgers are recession-proof. Affordable, portable, and customizable, burgers have survived a long journey into the hearts and clogged arteries of Americans.